Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. I'm doing another video on holdfasts. Why am I doing another video? Because I found something different that I want to talk about that's kind of interesting. Let's dive in. First off, what's a holdfast? It's basically a bent piece of metal that goes into a hole in your bench and very quickly you can lock it down. And I've got something that is not moving. I've got this solid on my bench. A holdfast is very quick and easy. Holdfast now come basically in three different categories. Number one, you've got the cheap ones you can buy on Amazon that are cast. Usually the top corner isn't curved, it comes to a tight point. Do not buy them. Do not buy them. They are trash, they will break on you, and they are worthless. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox here. But yes, honestly, I have had three of them in my shop over the years. All three of them have snapped on me, and I hear it from people all the time who purchase them. They don't work. Yes, they may be cheap. Yes, they may be affordable, but they do not work. So don't buy with them. The second type is like this one from Gramercy Tools. It's just a three quarter inch smooth rod that's been bent into shape and had this squished. And in all honesty, I used to poo poo them because they're, they're kind of basic. Yes, they, they are, they're strong. They will last, they treat you well. But I don't know, I, I would like it to be a little bit longer and I, I just, I didn't have a whole lot of experience with them and I just didn't like them. I found that they, the smooth shaft tended to slide a little bit in the table and bench. Number three are the ones you can get from a blacksmith. Now these are usually made out of a rod that isn't fully three quarter inch and they've been beaten down into shape. That gives them a texture, that gives them a worked surface and they tend to be incredibly strong. They will last you a lifetime or longer and a lot of times they come decorated. These ones from Black Bear Forge are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I, he gave me these ones years ago and I love them. They are, in my opinion, some of the best holdfasts you can get. But if you know a local blacksmith, you can get them to make them for you. So that's where most of my videos ended. I do have a video talking about what happens if holdfasts don't hold, how do you fix that? I'll leave that down below. I'm not gonna get into that. But I basically want to go back to this one from Gramercy. And you know, the price point on this, kind of intrigued me and I've always thought about going and getting one just to experiment and play with it. Well then a couple guys decided that they wanted to make these sleeves that fit this because one of the problems with holdfast is you have this metal head that likes to dig into the wood. And with the sleeve you can slide it on up and over and the cap fits right on there and is a perfect protection for the end. And they said, I want to send you one of those. And I said, I don't have a Gramercy Holdfast. And they said, okay, well, we'll send you one of those too to play with. So I thought I would get it. And this was a couple months ago and I've been experimenting and playing with it. And yes, it does actually work on mine from Black Bear Forge. It wants to slide around a little bit. It works better on the leaf design, but it works really well on there. See, with just the wood, if I put it into something soft, when I drive that down in, I'm actually going to end up crushing the wood a bit. Now this one's nice in that it's a little bit wider, but there's still a dent mark in there. These ones from Black Bear Forge are a slightly smaller footprint, so these are going to dig in a lot more. And what I ended up doing is just gluing on a piece of leather. And you can see it's started to come loose over time, and I should probably re-adhere it. But that was about six years ago, and I just put on a piece of leather with hide glue, and it's held on pretty well. For these leaf-shaped ones, they're even better because they give a wide surface and it's rounded, and I really like using these ones. But with these caps, it makes it really easy to just slide them on, and now I have something that won't hurt my surface at all. I can pound this in there, and really crank it down, and after I loosen it, there's no denting in this soft pine at all. I am really over impressed with how well this actually works. It stays on there very well. When it wears off, it slides off easily. I can put another one on there. That's a really cool design. And to be honest, when I first got it, I thought, you know, that's kind of gimmicky. It's just leather on there. I could glue it on. And that's one of the reasons why it's taken me a couple months to make this video, because when I first got it, I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try and see how I like it. And if I like it, then great. And if I don't, then great. And I kind of put it in the back burner. But then I started using it and I actually really like this. It is actually a much broader leather. Rather than it being trimmed to the shape of the steel, it sticks out on all sides and isn't going to get ripped off because it's actually held all the way around. It's a really good design that protects the wood and makes a functioning holdfast that much better. Not to mention they're designed to fit the Gramercy head. And the more I try this, the more I really like it. I've had a couple holes where this smooth shaft has been a problem but I can just come in with a file and nick up the back of the shaft and it holds really well. I've got a whole video on that, but honestly, I kind of like the Gramercy Holdfast too. Um, I've been surprised. And for the money, pff, 
you can't beat that with a stick. The only thing I don't like is that it's, it's short and you can see the lengthwise, I would like it to be a little bit longer. With this one in my bench, I'm limited to about five and a half inches that I can lock onto. Now it's rare that I need to do more, but every now and then I'm doing something up around eight or nine. And with these ones from Black Bear Forge, I can do up to a full foot with my bench. So yeah, there are things I would like to be better, but as to the cap, I really like this design and I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with it. And I might end up getting a couple more Gramercy Holdfast because honestly, they work well. And for the price, you can't beat that. I'm sorry, I know this video is a little shorter than normal, but the tool really is a simple tool. It's smooth, it's three quarter inch in thickness designed to fit into a three quarter inch hole and you hit it. <laughs> and that's like even there now it's stuck i've got to work it out it's a really simple tool and i really enjoy it and that means it's a simple video as well and i'll leave links to these down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on it. what problems do you have with hold fast uh, if you're having problems with them actually holding go look at the video on that i've got a whole lot of information on how to make it actually work and figure out what's the problem with yours these are incredibly fun and i use them all the time. They get pulled out almost every day in my shop and having a good hold fast is a game changer. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, which ones do you use? What do you find works well to you? How do you protect the wood? Do you put down a sacrificial piece on top of it? <laughs> how, how, do you, uh, how do you go about using your hold fast in your shop? I would love to hear that and I read them and all the comments down below and I learn from that and thank you. It means more than I can say because every time you put a comment down below, it is worth hitting that like button 10 times. Honestly, it means a lot to the channel and helps us get in front of more people. So anytime you comment down there, thank you. Even for the people who just put comment down below, thank you. That means a lot. If you'd like to go even farther, there are a whole bunch of names over here. Those are all of the patrons on Patreon. They are the ones who I am making these videos for because they are the ones who pay the bills, keep the lights on, and keep us going. Without patrons on Patreon, we wouldn't exist. We are completely sponsored by you. So thank you for that. If you would like to find out more about becoming a patron or want to join and become a member here on YouTube, there's links down below or click them in the description. You know how it works. I think they'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. This is a hold fast. There are also tools called hold slows. Those have a knob on top you actually crank to put the pressure down because nothing beats this.